Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing the Disney writing tag which I am making up myself because I love both Disney and writing. Obviously. This was sort of inspired by Katie Tastic or Caddy Tastic. I'm never totally sure which one it is. But she made a video called the Disney reading tag. It was really fun. More Disney in my life is always a good thing and I'm writing obsessed so that's how we got here. Disney movies! So without further ado, let's get to the questions. That drum roll never works. Why do I keep doing it? Question one, Aladdin. You have rubbed the magic lamp and a genie has appeared to grant you one wish to fix your current work in progress. What do you ask for? I am currently on revisions right now. I'm actually almost done with them, but what I would really love for someone else to do and me not have to do it at all <laughs> is for the description in the novel to magically appear because right now the characters walk into a room and it's like, who knows what that room looks like? Definitely not the reader. I'm always really lacking on description and I would love if a genie could just come in and poof all of the description into the novel. Take what is in my head and put it into the book. That would be amazing. That would be my wish. Question number two, Lion King. If you could retell a Shakespearean play using animals as the characters, which would you choose and what animals? I would choose A Midsummer Night's Dream because that was my favorite Shakespearean play. And as for characters, I think like Amazon jungle setting would be really fun. I don't know what animals those are. And since I made the tag, you think I would have looked this up ahead of time. Question number three, Pocahontas. Have you ever pulled inspiration for a story from history and what was it? Um, yes. My current work in progress is a pirate novel and I originally got the idea because I stumbled upon this idea of a privateer and one of the history texts that I was reading and I thought that sounded so cool. By the way, the difference between a pirate and a privateer, a privateer is somewhat accountable to a certain country. Not quite a mercenary, but kind of, sort of. I thought that concept was so cool and I was like, I want it. That, that is what I want. And it's also a fantasy novel. So of course I've pulled random different like countries on the brink of war and the way that governments are overthrown and all of that, but no specific. No, nothing specific. <laughs> Question number four, Snow White. What was the very first story you ever wrote? I wrote a story about witches and perhaps unsurprisingly, the very first story that I'd actually completed was a Harry Potter fan fiction. So you can tell what I was into at the time. <laughs> and by the way, I'm still into witches. I would love to return to that at some point. Maybe I'll go reread that very first draft of that very first story. Ooh, probably not. That would be a bad idea. <laughs> Question number five, Mulan. Who is the strongest character you've ever written and what made them strong? I'm kind of between two answers and the first one that I'm thinking of was when I was writing a mystery novel and the protagonist was taken into witness protection at a very young age and she kind of had to live a whole lot of her life feeling like she was on her own and that alone I imagine would be super challenging but for better or worse she was very driven and single-minded in her focus to understand what had actually happened in the event that caused her to go into witness protection and not necessarily the smartest character, but she was still very kind and just her ability to persevere through a whole bunch of setbacks I think was was very strong. Or the character I wrote for my NaNoWriMo novel this past year, he had a whole lot of stuff that he had to overcome inside of himself. It was less things on the outside that he was struggling with and more kind of like inner turmoil. So he didn't get rid of the problems that he was having, but he did find a way to overcome them in his own way. And I think that takes a kind of strength that um, I would like to mirror a little bit more myself because I find it slightly more realistic than a woman in witness protection. But <laughs> those are the two characters that I'm between. They were both really strong. Question number six, Star Wars. If you had to live in one of the worlds or settings that you've created, which would it be and why? I kind of want to say the pirate novel that I'm currently working on because I love the ocean and I love being at sea and it just, ooh, it's a fantasy novel. So the setting and like the fantastical elements are just so cool, but also they're on the brink of war. And I'm just gonna say, don't think I'd do very well there. <laughs> So I think I would actually go with that mystery novel I was talking about because it was set in Las Vegas and I'm not in witness protection. So I grew up there. I would enjoy, I'd have a good time in Vegas. That seems like the safest setting that I've written about. 
Question number seven, which Disney song would you put on your writing playlist? I have a lot of them and I've discussed this before so I'm just gonna let past me tell you what I would do. Start off with I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan. If that beat doesn't get you going, I honestly don't know what will. Go to Almost There from Princess and the Frog, hit up Son of Man from Tarzan, listen to Something That I Want from Tangled, and for the big finale, go the distance from Hercules. And if I'm not in the mood after all of those songs, then I should just quit. <laughs> Question number eight, which fairy tale movie would you want to retell? Retelling is really big right now. It's been big for a while. I would probably want to do Sleeping Beauty because it was one of my favorites as a kid, which I know that some people are like, ooh. But the fairies were awesome. There was a dragon. Maleficent was the coolest villain. I think I would want to retell that one. Not necessarily from Maleficent's point of view, which Disney has done recently. What is my definition of recently? Like five years ago or something. <laughs> but I would want to redo that because I think there's a lot of elements that would be really cool. And if you just made it like slightly less creepy with the kiss and stuff, you know, I think it would be awesome. <laughs> Question number nine, Frozen. Which character that you've written is the most likely to be misunderstood or incorrectly interpreted as a villain? I'm gonna bring up the pirate novel work in progress again because the main character, Annalisa, is considered a traitor by her home country and all of its allies for something that she does in the first few chapters of the book. And if you don't understand the intent behind it, of course, you would think she's a traitor. So, her. <laughs> Poor Annalisa. She's had a rough go of it. Question number 10, Moana. If you were forced to go on an epic journey with one of your characters and the two of you were tasked to save the world, who would you choose and why? This is hard for me because I think that all of the characters that would do a good job, because let's be honest, I have basically no skills uh, that could benefit saving the world. Like, I... no. <laughs> so it would have to be one of my characters and I would just provide like some kind of comic relief or I could cook. I don't know. Is that ever brought up in stories? Like, when they're saving the world, some of these people have to be making the food, right? Like, that... I could do that. But the problem is that none of the characters that I think would have the skill set required would really want to do it. But if they had to, like if that was genuinely their goal, I think I would choose the captain of the pirate ship that Annalisa is on because he is the most worldly and he genuinely has an interesting set of skills that I think could, could make that possible. Together we might be able to save the world. The chances are small, let's be honest. The chances are small, but... They're a little bit bigger than anyone else. <laughs> Question number 11, Pinocchio. What's the most common lie you tell people about your stories or writing? The most common lie I tell other people is probably what I am working on at the time. I try to give like really short answers because uh, questions are hard. I'm not great at answering questions at the moment when people are asking. And so, yeah, I think I probably just lie just to get it over with quicker. I'm like, oh, it's just a mystery. Ah ha ha, what are you up to? because that's how conversation works. <laughs> I lie to myself though. <laughs> I lie to myself about when I'm going to finish a draft because no matter what, every time I tell myself it's only gonna take a certain amount of time, it always takes at least a little bit longer, if not a lot longer. So I just am convinced that I work faster than I do. So I'm just constantly lying to myself and giving myself end dates that I don't ever meet. You would think I would learn, but Nope. Question 12, sidekicks. Who is your favorite minor character that you wish you could give their own full story to? I think I'm gonna have to go back to my NaNoWriMo story that I wrote this year for that. It was a science fiction story and Jer, he was like not totally comic relief because he had a really great arc at the end and he died, which is sad. So I don't know that I could actually pull this off. But you know, like a prequel, he's just such a wisecracking, like loving life kind of character. He was also like a weird bird alien hybrid thing. I have no reason to write about him, but I think it would be so much fun. All right, that's it for all of the questions. I'm gonna tag my other Disney and writing friends and that's Jessica at JLW Writes, Brooke at By the Brook, and Becca C. Smith over on her channel. Those are just the other writers I know who are obsessed with Disney like I am. But if you also love Disney and writing, please, I totally tag you, do this tag. I would love to see y'all's answers because again, I'm obsessed with Disney and writing and knowing more about you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon with a new video. Bye. Look at all this. Nailed it. All right, that's it for all of the questions. I'm going to tag my hair. I'm going to tag Duke. All right, one more time. Book, book, Brooke. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Brooke. Shakes. I cannot say Shakespearean. Shakespearean. I would choose A Midsummer Night's Dream because that was my favorite Shakespearean. Oh.